Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. So last week's video, we did the, the swivel base, the offset arm, and that came out really nice. This week, we're gonna do the crane part. And uh, so how we're gonna do that is, I already got my pieces cut. Uh, we got about 22 degrees on an angle here. So when we put these pieces together, they'll get welded together like that. And that's our crane. Now, we're gonna run the cable inside of this cross tube and we're gonna bolt the, the winch to the back side of this tube. We need to open up this end of the tube a bit and drill it and make a pulley to go in there and then probably cap it too to make it look nice. So let's head over to the bridge port and get that going. Next step is to make the pulley out of the this inch and a quarter 4140 pre hard I have. We're going to drill it 3 eighths for a 3 eighths bolt. So a 3 eighths drill and a 3 eighths bolt will actually have enough clearance to turn on there nicely and it won't uh, wobble. And then we're going to cut a 5 16 groove with the, probably the cutoff tool and then we'll chamfer the edges to give it a little clearance for a cable and then uh, we'll cut them off and go back over to the bridge port and drill for our pulley where we want it. So now that we have our pulleys all made and we drill this side and tap this side for a 3 8 bolt, once I tighten that up I'll just cut the excess bolt off, but there it is. Now we'll head back in the weld shop and we'll make a cap for this and we'll cap the ends of this, this tube.
So our overarms are done, capped, our pulleys are done, and next is to mount the winch. And I already disassembled this one to figure out where it's going. And it's going on just like this. So flush to the top of this, because um, the cable drum will be just right. So we'll drill and tap that um, and bolt it on. Um, and we'll do all that after we weld the arm together. So let's get this drilled and tapped and then get these welded together. Next step in our build is the pivot point that our crane will mount on top of. What we're going to do is, I already measured this, you know, it's a square tube. We're going to just turn it down so that it just fits inside. And it's about 1040. So I'm going to turn it down, and then because there's a weld seam inside of here, I don't know if you can see that or not, but we're just going to grind a flat on one side. So we'll turn this down to 1040. I'll put a big chamfer on the on the bottom here and then we'll drive it together and weld it up. Here's the first one, um, and I don't have the swing arm on it, but uh, you kind of get the idea. Now we're going to go ahead and paint these up. I'm not going to shoot that because I don't want the overspray on the camera, but uh, once they're all painted up, then we'll go ahead and do the final assembly and uh, test them out. There it is. I'll paint it up. So and on the boring mill here, it's pretty tall, but this is pretty tall. And with the swing arm on here, but that's okay. It's going to do the job. And uh, just to show you how strong this thing really is. I mean, I'm only a little over 200 pounds, so that's not too bad. Now let's, uh, let's go ahead and let's get the winch put on there, the pulley mounted in the end, and, and uh, finish this thing up and give it a test run.
Okay, so to prove the concept, I've got this, uh, this uh, angle plate that was given to me. Actually, this was a shaper table, and I know this thing's about 300 pounds. So let's see how it does. All right, I'd say that was a success. It's up. Now let's swing it over and get it onto the mill. Well, that looks like a success to me. So um, we're going to end the video here. I guess uh, next week we'll we'll test it on the vertical head on the Cincinnati horizontal. Make sure it works for that. That was the whole reason for building it. Um, but looks like it's working fine. That's about 300, 350 pounds hanging from there, and that's doing a beautiful job. Um, like the only complaint I have is the handles more much longer than I need. I'll probably shorten that up. But uh, with that. We'll end here. Check out my website, www.toppermachine.com. And please like, subscribe, and share. Stay with us. See what's next. Till next time, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time. <laughs>